Hello everyone, so today I am at pretty much in the middle of nowhere on a really glorious late September day as you can kind of tell behind me um, it really snowed last night on about 600 or so meters elevation but the snow got down to about 200 meters which is made for a really pretty day out but I'm going to be attacking a waterfall down here on Stony Creek in fact a pair of waterfalls um, and these falls are unmarked on maps, unnamed I only discovered them because of um, Rob Wilson and his surveying work which tracked them down um, but yeah I'm pretty much going off a map that he's given me and hopefully guide me in the right direction obviously it's been clear fell pretty recently down there so it shouldn't be too hard scrub wise but I'm led to believe it's really steep Obviously there's no track as well, so it's always going to be an interesting experience in those circumstances, but should be a good trip down there. Basically there's two waterfalls in quick succession, and then further downstream is a couple of smaller cascades, which time permitting I might go and check out as well. But yeah, I will see you a bit further down. It's really incredibly pretty in the snow. I've hit this um, logging road here which is quite useful which is hopefully going to take me closer to the falls it's really very easy walking so far again I think the issue is going to be less so scrub and more so cliffs as I say that it's starting to close in a bit more so I might just turn off the camera for a bit and negotiate my way down the hill. Okay, so I've completed the descent down to Stony Creek, uh, which is really pumping in there. As you can see, there's quite a bit of snow. Also, from my phone clip a second ago, on the way down, it was genuinely snowing here. It's sort of just gone to rain now a bit more, but still quite pretty. Um, the descent down was really steep and hard, especially when you couldn't really tell what the footing was like, given the snow everywhere. Um, I'm using Rob's map which has 1 meter contour lines compared to like the 10 meters on normal PAS maps and it was really very useful because there are actually a lot of cliffs up above there um, and without that map it would have been really hard to find a route around them so I would say if you're coming with just a normal PAS map just be really really careful and patient and find a route down that's safe because it's not easy to find one um, but yeah I don't think it's far to the falls from here, just working my way upstream and I'll probably see you there because my hands are dying of cold so it's been hard to find the motivation to bring the camera out much. or at least the lower fall and it is pumping. I'd suggest it normally a low to moderate volume creek but after all this rain there is a serious volume of water coming down. According to Rob's con um, contours on his map I think it's about 12 metres high, 13 metres which looks about right. But yeah, I have no idea how I'm getting up the top of that thing. Um, it's really steep and cliffy up here, but 
Rob Van Wake, I'll find a way there to the other fall. But you're a similarly sized waterfall, I believe, so it should be pretty impressive too. Okay, so I'm sort of at a precarious point here. Essentially, the base of the falls I was just added down there, going over that side of the creek looks like a much friendlier route up, but the creek is way too high to ford, so I had to essentially clamber up the cliffs through here, which were very steep and slippery, and sort of come to this little ledge where there's another cliff, and a cliff there. So hopefully this ledge is going to take me around the corner. The other falls I can actually see through the trees. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up. Not well at all. Um, <laughs> but they're through the trees there and only about 100 metres away. But it could be a pretty difficult 100 metres. But yeah. Hopefully I get there no dramas and if I do, I'll see you there. If I don't, I'll see you somewhere else. Okay, so unfortunately, about 10 metres further on, I reckon this might be as far as I'll get. There is no way <laughs> I can get around the sidle around that cliff. It's just a sheer cliff. At least there is some view of the upper falls. If it focuses, yep. Um, which look really nice. So it's a little bit disappointing to not make it. As you can see, there's the lower falls. If you get a little gully in there, and if you climb up the gully, it's just a matter of walking along that rock, and then you'd be at the, uh, the upper falls. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying that the river's too high today to get across. Obviously, I'll come back. Um, but yeah, I might have a crack at getting to the top of the waterfall by climbing up these cliffs and then sliding around. You never know, there might be a way to cross over the creek there. Um, another possibility is I'll come back here another day and finish off the video to the upper falls, but I don't know, you'll see that or you won't. <laughs> but, regardless, I think it's still been worth the effort. It's a pair of really impressive waterfalls. Blowing high today, obviously in summer wouldn't look like this, but I would assume they flow year-round, given how significant this creek looks. But yeah, I'll have a crack at reaching the upper falls. Otherwise, I reckon it's going to be it for me. The walk only took me about 30, 45 minutes each way. Um, and it wasn't really that far either. A lot of that was taken up by picking roots and the like. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.